and still very much the undefeated world champion Ilya Topuria. Guys, as always, welcome to the channel. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. Uh, I have to cover more of the No Man's Sky um, expedition because I like it a lot. I, I was very busy this weekend, but man, <laughs> what, a, what a fight. What a fight this was. I was a little bit surprised. Well, maybe not really all that surprised. Most of the predictions were coming from uh, American fighters, so it's kind of like the nationality bias. But really, it was like, really? Honestly? I mean, I get it why Volkanovsky would say that uh, Max was his favorite to win and a bunch of others. But it was. I had, I think I said in the previous video about this fight, the one you see here. Uh, the UFC 308, three things most analysts miss about Topuria. Well, actually, th those were all key to the fight, uh, especially in terms of what I said regarding him being uh, very patient, right? Being very patient. And, you know, obviously the, the power, the boxing is clearly there, superior. Um, Max Holloway actually did a lot better than I expected. I had it like that. I had it 70%. It, Topuria winning by knockout. I actually told my son, I think he was winning it, not in the first couple, but in the third fight. And exactly that's what ended up happening. But it was, I, I think the bets show who was really the favorite besides whatever um, you know, one, uh, one other fighter says or not. This, this was a, a very tough thing to see because... Uh, Max Holloway is a very loved guy in the MMA community, um, and I believe that mostly. Look at the leg. Look at the. This shows the the amount of damage that Topuria does when he's kicking. So I think that actually Holloway had a fantastic fight. He did. Holloway did better than I expect he would. He he had a fantastic game plan. He was keeping his distance, moving around a lot, uh, just going for the high kicks. Things that he knows the booty is vulnerable. He was chopping on on his knee constantly, and that would seem to be quite effective. But it's, man, it's the power. The guy just has that shit. Has a thing where he lands and is with so much precision and so much power that just puts the light out of most people. And this was, um, I guess, that for the people that are very much uh, fans of, of Holloway, it was. It was a, a tough one to watch uh, because he was damaged. And I don't know if you saw the, the post-fight. That was completely unnecessary. He was slurring his, his words. He was really... The, the amount of damage that he took was painfully obvious in those, uh, in those minutes uh, when he was asked, you know, give the guy some room. He was just knocked almost... He was not fully unconscious. And for the people saying that was an early stoppage, uh, you are the, the worst of the casuals. No, it was not an early stoppage. He was not going to bounce out of the canvas as Topuria was hammering his head through it. What, what are you people even watching? Early stoppage where? You're stopping the guy from murdering uh, Holloway in, in, in the octagon. That's all you saw happen. You did not see an early stoppage. But, you know, some of these fanboys, some of these... Total absolute casuals have no idea what these guys put themselves through. Even Topuria was quite damaged. He took a, a, a few, um, a few, uh, and some people think, oh, but he he lands the bigger power shots. Yes, he does. That that is beyond doubt. No, no one went, uh, no, no one uh, questions that. That's why he was well knocked out. But uh, the jab, the jab was hitting. So what? One of the things that he was doing very well. And Holloway is a volume fighter. He throws a shit ton of punches. Not all of them have the same amount of power, and not all of them are significant like they once. And this was very close. I say I think you could easily give one round to each of these. Uh, but the thing is, this that guy right there, uh, Topuria, is always looking for a knockout. Uh, one of the things that I was pleasantly surprised by was Topuria using some of that wrestling. Um, I, I think I would have advised the guy the same thing. Throw him a couple of times. Throw him one time each round. Make sure that he understands that at any moment, you can have him on his back on the, on, on, on the ground. Put him on his ass. That is something that really messes up in, in your head in terms of, yeah, at any moment, he just throws me and I have to get back up. You know, that's not uh, something all that pleasant. 
so yeah, no, it was not an early stop. <laughs> I don't know what else what else you could possibly expect. But no, he was not robbed. He he was knocked out, and then he was hammered on the head until uh, the the referee stopped the 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 slaughter, and, and that's uh, all all she wrote. Uh, and then Volkanovski, who let me know in the comments who who on his right mind wants to see Volkanovski get fucked up more. I mean, there's no there's nothing. There is not a single piece of data pointing towards that making any sense whatsoever. Could Volkanovski win? Yes, of course. Any, I mean, these are all top level fighters, so anyone can win. Now, can does not mean that it it's gonna happen let alone that it's sensible to have that fight no 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 don't put damn volkanovsky and he's gonna be what 37 what he's already past that age he's gonna be even more so um topuri already has his timing topuri already understands that he can take his punches and that's the most the most dangerous thing can be with topuri is under power because in the case of josh emmett he had to be worrying about Josh Emmett not knocking his ass off because Josh Emmett punched a bomb of power. He is extremely powerful. Josh Emmett lands one of those on you and you're, it, it maybe lights off. Topuria knows he can take Volkanovski's power. Topuria knows how to time Volkanovski now. And if you put him again, it's going to be, I would go with an 80-20 in favor of Topuria. I would go like, it's going to be overwhelmingly favoring Topuria with a Volkanovski fight. I get that Volkanovski is that guy. He thinks he can win. It's like Nemo. You know, Nemo, you think you can do things, but you can't. No. Yes, you were awesome. You were one of the best ever. You know, all time great. Okay. But that's not the case anymore, and it just doesn't make sense. Find some th something else. Uh, Lopez, I think they were talking about. That could be an interesting fight. Yeah, I mean, when you beat Volkanovski, uh, well, I mean, not just beat, when you knock out Volkanovski and you knock out Max Holloway in the same year, it's kind of like, yeah, whoever is thrown in there is, is cannon fodder, right? You're just f f looking for whatever you can feed the guy at this point. And sure, that's going to be the way for a, for a while. Probably with the boot, it's going to be like that for a while. The Volkanovski fight makes no sense. Yes, it's gonna be probably very fun in Spain to see that happen and he's probably most likely gonna win and it's gonna be awesome but in terms of I mean yeah maybe, maybe it's the, the fight to make because who else are you gonna throw in there so yeah I, I completely changed my mind you want to throw Wilkonowski in there he wants to go sure if I was a friend of his uh, I would advise him not to if I was family of Wilkonowski I would tell him you know what there's no need you don't need to be beating the shit out of yet again uh, against a guy that is so much younger, faster, more powerful, and already has your number. He knows how to defeat you even easier than before. And it's it's not me making shit up. This is always the case, especially with um, fighters past that 35-year age. Not only when they uh, try to reclaim their, their, their title, not only do they lose again, they lose in a in a far more damaging fashion. It is is one of those rule. Yeah, I know that people don't like the MMA math, but this is kind of like there is a reason why these things happen. And no, once you lost it, once you lost the belt and you 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 fight for it again, especially at that age, uh, especially with a guy like this dude, it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna leave a mark. Um, the after. Um, a fight interview with with Holloway was a perfect example as of why you don't want to get that kind of brain damage. He was slurring, he was, and he was emotional a little bit too. I get it, but yeah, man, that was it. It was a very uh, fun fight, very interesting fight, and absolutely worth it. It lived up to expectations. See you later, guys. Take care.